Hi there Virgo, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot and to your monthly abundance update for February. And in this reading Virgo we look at all things work, money, investment, finance, career and if all the cups come out generally that's finding fulfillment in that area or sometimes how our partnerships um, will impact that. So I'm getting started here with the Angels of Abundance. I'll then be drawing you a Moon Child Tarot card and then using the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot for the tarot positions. And just to let you know that you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and on TikTok, guys. And also, if you should want to arrange a personal reading, all the links you need are below this video. Let's get one more out. That one. Okay. So let's start with your oracle cards. We have got Letting Go of Guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them. Do the work. It's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the, pos the positive steps that you are being divinely guided to take. Consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. Absolutely. I mean, we can put the plan in place and try and manifest, but if we're not taking the inspired action, guys, I mean, the plans just remain conceptual. All right, let's see what else we've got. The lovers. Okay, number six, Gemini in the Major Arcana. So... This can mean that the focus is on partnerships, maybe in the workplace, colleagueships, uh, relationship with your boss, mentor, or manager. But the lovers is also a card of choice, and it's about big decisions of matters of the heart. And and sometimes we need to let someone down with the lovers when we're making a choice. So we're asked to choose wisely. The idea is that the, the choice that we are making is leading us to a greater sense of balance and harmony in our life. All of the things that the number six carry. So we'll see how that plays out. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini as well. So beginning here, Virgo, with the recent past leading up to the current. I have got, all the tower, okay, maybe that is why, oh, and the wheel of fortune in the blocks, obstacles, and challenges. Advice from Spirit or Tarot, ten of cups, focusing on happiness, focusing on joy from now on. In the outcome, I've got the Queen of Swords, which is Libra for me in the Minor Arcana. In the money sector, yeah. Torn. I have got the Two of Swords and I have Aries here with the Queen of Wands. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck? The Lovers again. So that is really a key energy for you. It's clarifying the tower. I'm going to take that one there. We've got the King of Swords. Okay. King of Swords for me is Aquarius in the Minor Arcana. Clarifying the Wheel of Fortune. I've got the Six of Wands. Clarifying the Ten of Cups, King of Cups. Lots of court cards, guys. They are the people cards. Clarifying the Queen of Swords. I have got the Seven of Wands. A couple more. I'm going to go for another one. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Okay, right. This is all making sense now, guys. There are greater opportunities on the horizon for you. Let's jump in. So you have been faced with a choice in the recent past, or maybe it is upon you now. So the Eight of Cups is about somebody who's found themselves in a position where they're not completely emotionally fulfilled. So it could be in your job, you know, there is a piece missing. Maybe we've got, uh, you know, we enjoy the job and we, you know, have got good uh, partnerships or relationships in the job, but we're not getting the reward re recognition or the pay that we want. There's something fundamentally missing here that's having you dream and desire 
for something else. I can see the missing pieces at the end of your reading. It is that Ace of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups, we know there's a hole in it. We can't really complete within the in the situation, and we are being inspired to transition away from it or bring fundamental change to it in order to go and find that missing piece. That is the Ninth Cup, the Cup of Wish Fulfillment. So there's a kind of a sense here that what you're truly desiring and manifesting it is somewhere else and you're being asked to let go of the guilt and make a choice to bring yourself into alignment here by transitioning away from the situation so we've got the king of swords here and this is about taking a step back to see the big picture making an objective decision and a strategic move forward the king of swords is all about alignment and truth so we want to make sure that we are moving with what you truly want on your heart here, Virgo. This is the uh, Aquarian energy, so it's likely that, that this key move is happening this month. Um, that's when this reading is for anyway. Um, the King of Swords could be that, you know, you are yet to have the key communication that is going to, to bring down the tower. And the tower might be that you are needing to leave behind a business partner, you know, you're needing to let down a, a manager or, or, or leader that you have a really close relationship with, and there's a sense of guilt about doing that. But, you know, when the tower comes in, and it really is time for change. Between that and the Wheel of Fortune, it's like, this, is, this wheel's going to turn whether you like it or not, so why not be the one to initiate it and go through the steps rather than if we, if we don't choose when the decision is upon us, and we keep going in something that's not quite right for us, sometimes it can become difficult, it can become a challenge, and that's when the tower comes down around us. The tower can just be the, the big revelation, you know, this is not aligned with my truth, I'm going to have to leave it. The tower says that something about it isn't aligned for you anymore. It may have been, I think, in the past, because you've had eight cups here, it's no longer a fit for you, and you need to transition away from it in order to find what really does light you up here in terms of career, in terms of job satisfaction. So the tower's coming down, and we're asked to surrender to that, because we're going to have the opportunity to, to rebuild uh, in the direction that, that we truly desire. Now, in the blocks, obstacles, and challenges, I've got the Six of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. So I think it's saying that um, this is divine timing for this to all go down. It's all unfolding in perfect timing, but you may be resisting that. That's kind of usually why I would see the Tower energy. Maybe you're not kind of rolling with uh, the intuitive feel that you need to make a transition here, but you are... Um, blocking it and going, well, I'll just stay in it a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. I don't want to disappoint this person because I feel guilty. But, you know, the universe has other plans for you because it wants to bring in the aligned new opportunity. So it may bring in the power, the power, the tower, if we don't move along with it. Yeah, there could be something around power, play or struggle as well uh, as to why, you, you, you know, you might be resisting this. The Wheel of Fortune says that the, that the, the cycle is complete. Uh, it's kind of a karmic cycle. Maybe you've gone as far as you can in this role. You've learned what you've needed to learn. Now this Wheel of Fortune wants to bring a luck change for you. It wants to help you, uh, you know, find your missing piece. So don't resist it. Don't go against the flow, but flow with it. Go with the grain. And that's how you can find success. That's how you can be victorious, Virgo. The Six of Wands is about somebody who is coming out of a darker time, moving into a more fulfilling, happy time, a greater time of balance. It's number six as well, and it's all about harmony and, and, and smooth sailing and moving into a time of peace. This is also um, a card of being seen publicly, you know, standing out, um, stepping up. So I'm just wondering if some of you may be in a leadership position or a little bit higher up the chain and you know that you're going to need to make an announcement um, even over the email, tell your team, you're going to have to really be seen in this like, you know, I'm, I'm leaving this job, I'm leaving this place. And there might be some resistance to that because as soon as you've announced it, you know, you kind of feel a bit weird moving around your workplace when everyone knows that you're leaving. Um, you kind of go between the, well, no one really knew I was dissatisfied to, oh, 
he or she's leaving. So that's what I'm kind of feeling here. You may not want to be seen in that, but the, the cards are saying, well, it's divine timing to do that anyway. So you may as well do it and go through the process nicely rather than inviting in a tower moment. Advice from Spirit or Tarot, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Because you are moving towards a much higher vibrational state in reality here. I mean, I see the Ace of Cups down here. I know that one plus the Eight of Cups is the nine. But the universe is saying, you know what? Trump you won on that. You can actually head towards the ten if you make that transition. The King of Cups, you know, holds the last two cups here for you. The so Scorpio energy, you might be getting some advice from a Scorpio or from a Capricorn here as well. So the King of Cups is a reminder to stay centered as you go through this. Stay emotionally um, calm. You know, emotions may get high and it's really saying ground yourself here. Trust your intuition. Follow your heart here, right? Don't let the ego talk you out of this if it's really, you know, what you want to move away from this. Remember what's on offer. Remember where you were heading. Remember what you always wanted to achieve. Queen of Pentacles for me says it's time to follow your instincts and refocus your energy. You will be able to, to, to build abundance again if you're worried about leaving a job that's quite lucrative for you. You can absolutely do that. There is a sense here of maybe overcoming something that may have become, I'm not really feeling, I'm not feeling toxic. I'm feeling um, something that has become a bit of a tie. You feel a real sense of responsibility or commitment, um, you know, in this workplace or in this role. And that is what is holding you back from making the transition. Queen of Pentacles can be the card of mother, whether you're male or female, you may have been responsible for nurturing a team, nurturing somebody else, or being that person in the workplace where that lends an ear, that's always helpful, giving the advice. And you might think, oh, I feel guilty, you know, leaving these people, they're kind of relying on me for more than just my job. But you know, the thing is that you have to do what's best for you and keep on moving towards your goals, Virgo, of what you really want to achieve here. So in the outcome, Seven of Wands, Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups. So the Seven of Wands for me is about, um, it, it's my going against the grain card, right? It's, 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 the, it's the red flag that says, hey, you need to step back into universal flow. Stop going against the current and staying in something that, that isn't quite right for you. You've got an Ace of Cups to go and collect. Um, you might feel a bit like challenged. You, there might be sort of this, I'm kind of this feeling this fear of like, once you kind of announce that you're leaving, you kind of feel like you might have to run and hide and you're kind of thinking maybe there's going to be some backlash or you're going to have all these, you know, arrows coming at you from, from nowhere, maybe, you know, communication or like, what are you doing? You're leaving us. And, but you know, that, that's, that's not going to happen. People will accept your choice is what I'm really feeling here. You have the higher ground, you know, and, and, and it's your turn to, to make decisions for yourself to move forward. The Queen of Swords here is like, okay, this is going to be your victory. It's another card of victory. Just like the King of Swords, it's about holding your boundaries, you know. I'm making this move because it's the best thing for me. I don't really have to explain myself. I know slowly but surely I'm transforming my life. Um, this is my justice that brings things into into balance, you know, and I am also, you know, just really holding that, that firm boundary and cutting myself free from what doesn't feel in alignment right now. I'm making that strategic choice before the universe comes in and moves me with a tower, like maybe like a loss of a job when you weren't expecting it. Here I'm being in control and guiding the transition myself because I'm feeling that I'm getting really close to, to finding the real opportunity that's going to light me up. Some of you may have another offer on the table already and that is why you're transitioning. Something that you know is going to fulfill you more. It's going to make you feel really happy and there's a sense that can really lead to better family life and a better sense of abundance, maybe because you're getting better working conditions, work-life balance, it's going to allow you to operate in the home, but also enjoy the role as well. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles really is about operating in both places. So that, that's what I'm seeing there. There's a fulfilling opportunity waiting for you, but you, you're going to have to obviously leave where you are and you're feeling a little bit guilty about that. But 
you know, you, you, you have to make the moves for yourself, Virgo, not for other people. Over here in money, I've got two of swords and the queen of wands. So you might be looking for new investments, um, new manifestations in that, in that kind of department. You might be weighing up options because the Queen of Wands is also the energy that helps you choose or discern between different pathways. So if you are weighing up about investments and that kind of thing, make sure you follow not only, you know, your intuition, but the facts that you actually know about about a situation on paper but we don't want to be emotionally driven when it comes to money this month because that's really when we're kind of going blindly with this okay so stay balanced is what I'm really seeing there could be new yeah a new opportunity coming through for you to manifest more but we want to make sure that we're following our instincts and being guided um, by that the queen of wands is an energy of determination so for me there's kind of this this um energy of I'm determined to manifest the new, the new beginning. I'm feeling torn at the moment, maybe because I'm worried about being without money for a period of time. But the, the message is once that falls into place, then, you know, obviously our abundance and resources will as well. Let's close out here, Virgo, with a couple of Sacred Power reading cards. Okay, first one out. Oh, and it is Boundaries. So that is your Queen of Swords energy right there. Do what you want to do. Don't feel guilty. Remember, you live the life for you, not for other people. Cut yourself free from what doesn't serve you anymore, what you may have outgrown. And, you know, just don't get pulled back in or tempted by pay rises and things like that. If something is finished in your life, then, then move away from it. And I've got lightning. Because this is, you know, I feel like this is part of your evolution. You're kind of going through a growth with this i mean lightning it sort of looks like that kundalini energy for me we're raising our vibration we're going to another level here that's the ten of cups you know um so i really feel like you are kind of ascending or learning some soul lessons here as well and through that you're kind of you know operating at a higher vibrational frequency okay virgo well i'm going to leave it there and I hope you enjoyed this abundance update for February. Uh, remember, it is a, a general reading, guys. It won't resonate for everyone. Uh, but if you are called to share, drop me a comment because I do read each and every one and try and interact with as many of you over there as possible. Um, yeah, so I really love that. It helps me get to know you guys, connect with the energies and see what the collective themes are. And Virgo, it has been a pleasure and I'll see you back here for more readings throughout the month. Bye for now. Thank you.